is more. In fact, this time, there is a lot more. So now we're past 2010. We're going into a recession slash depression with the Cervezas sickness. So what's going to happen to tax receipts? They're going to completely plummet. What happens to government spending? It goes through the roof. So with all these trillion dollar deficits and stimulus packages, government spending is going to go buzz light year to inflation and beyond. It's the exact opposite of solving the problem. Government spending, instead of going down, goes straight up, and government revenue, instead of going up, is going straight down. The problem is not getting better. It's going to get a whole heck of a lot worse. But my main point is if we're going into a recession or a depression, there's no way we can get any economic growth by definition. Another thing most people never really consider is if GDP goes down by a certain percentage, it's got to go back up by a higher percentage to get to the same high watermark. Check this out. I'll give you an example. If we start at $20 trillion in GDP, because of a recession depression, we go down by 50%. Now we're at $10 trillion. If all the Keynesians get in there, do all their quantitative easing, artificially low interest rates, stimulus, who knows what they do. Let's say we have this artificial boom, so GDP goes back up by 50%. We don't go back up to 20, because now we're at 10. If we increase by 50%, now we're only at 15 trillion. We're still $5 trillion lower in GDP than when we started, although we increased by the same percentage that we went down to begin with. 